You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Woo! Yes, I'm back once again to upset even more of you. I did such a good job last time. I was almost banned from another club. Not the first time I've had that threat. Morning, Mr. Kianthos. So for the first time this season, you know what that means. It's here. It's now. It's game day. And here we are once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I know you have missed it. It is the first game of the season that will see us heading up the A6, which will take us about an hour from Langford Road in Henlow at Ford Park. We are on our journeys for this first game of the season away to Urchester United over at Alford Street. It is Urchester United v Langford in the South Spartland Midlands Division 1. So after many, many meetings with the Langford manager, Management and the committee about trying to convince me to come back and do this all over again begging me to come out of retirement I must have retired about four or five times this is how the meeting went can't do it you can can't. you can do it you can you can but anyway that's another chatting bollocks let's get into the football nose <laughs> So Urchester finished 19th last season, second bottom. They'll definitely be looking to improve on that this season. Liam Leonard and Trent Woodley. Not sure if any of these are still around, but this is how their danger men looked last season. I don't care about your I don't give a fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. What felt like playing football on an ice ring, we ran out 7-2 victory winners. So, with that all being said, it's been a long time coming. Let's get to the ground. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then next. Let me get the fuck out of here. Up the langy. <laughs> Today, we're about to change it up a little bit. We've got two players missing. Can we call the team out now? Stuart Robertson, Gaffer. Josh, Kiefer. Sam Onions, Defender. Adam Turner, Defender. Joe Reynolds, Midfielder. Christos, Midfielder. Jake Wood, midfielder. Jacob Younger, defender. Alfie Alexander, attacker. Dennis, attacker. We've all been out there, we've all seen the pitch. We've seen what it's like, it's like a carpet. We've played some pre-season games, and apart from sitting here, we've won every game. If we had an Astro as our own pitch, we wouldn't lose the game at home. We'd get pulled down, we'd get it about. So I can go through where Joel's going to be, I can go through where Perry's going to be, and where Penn's going to be. Of course, you know your roles. We're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We know exactly what we'll be doing out on the pitch. Nothing 
And yes, we are back once again, the All or Nothing season. Fantastic Grammy Academy Oscar winning program is back as we get this season 2024-2025 kicked off away to Urchester United. If you're wondering why half the players weren't there in a team lineup, because they're too big time and they don't want to turn up for training. But we have upgraded this time round, doing the camera on the VO instead of me standing there with my phone. So like Stuart has said, new season, new squad, which means new nicknames. Longest in the shower, looks to play into the Greek God of Vision, but he's been intercepted. Urchester want to try and punish us now. Lovely little one-twos. As number two, would try and cross a ball dangerously. And it has been cleared by Beanstalk. So nothing came with that corner as Urchester are playing into midfield. He's taking a heavy touch and Professor Green will close that down as he's closing in on goal. He has three around him. Plays it into sexual chocolate. He just gets muscled out of this. Urchester recovered well in numbers. Looking to play it out from the back. We're just holding that shape at the moment. Ball's paid into number two. He sees seven in front of him. But he's bypassed him over the top to number nine. It's a 1v1. Number nine is looking to get down that wing. He plays into number seven. He's got in front of Onions. Plays the ball back. Beanstalk with a fantastic challenge. Number nine looking to play the ball back in. Is anything going to happen? Ball's played in. And the spicy Italian will hold and grab and take care of that meatball. Sexual chocolate looking to bring this down. But he's been closed out. Ball's played into number seven. There is a massive gap here at the moment as our left back Onions has gone bombing forward and decides to have a little trot back. Trot by seven. Nothing the spicy Italian could not handle. Not much has happened so far from this half from us, but the Beanstalk will play into the Greek God of Vision who will play into Tugboat, who sees Professor Green out on the wing. Bomb Scare's gone running. Has he been clipped? Rest played on. Sexual Chocolate plays into Bomb Scare. He's looking to deliver. He's gone all the way to the back post. And Baz has only gone and put us 1-0 up. Get in. We have started. One nil, get in. We are going to piss this Tim Pot League. Urchester trying to find a way back into this game as they are doing one touch football right now. Ball lifted into the box. Number seven plays that down to number eight. Can't get a shot off. Tugboat's there, but not relevant. Deflected by Longest in the shower. And we will take a goal kick from that. Tugboat plays in Bombscare. Bombscare looking to repeat what he's done for our first goal as he has lifted it into the box to Baz to double his lead. He cannot get on the end of that. That would have been a nice, lovely little comfortable cushion going into the second half as it remains 1 0. Free kick to Urchester as they still chase an equaliser. It is away by Beanstalk. Still bouncing around, not really cleared. Professor Green will clear that long. It's bounced back in again. It's like a hot potato at the moment. Raptor trying to play in. Cannot get hold of that one touch pass. Ball down to the side of Bomb Scare. He's into a foot race at the moment. They're both dancing over the ball and dealing with it. Balls into the box. Number 11 unmarked. Air shot. Number 9. And he's missed it as well. That's a great double chance there for Urchester. Longest in the shower decided to go to the ball as 11 peeled off. That is very, very, very poor from us. Free kick to be taken by Raptor just for half time. Can we double that lead? What a time this would be. Ball's played in. And it's gone out for a goal kick. As the referee then calls half time. 1 0 we lead. Urchester with the greater chances. Let's see how we get on in this second half. Boys, how are we feeling about it? Talk to me. They're not that tight. Though. They're not that tight. They're, 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 they're much more improved. Like they're, improved. they're a mix of They're much more improved. They're hitting the 11. Yeah. Like, everything seems to go through them. They're very predictable where they're going to go. We'll play football when the ball's reset and we've got a chance to play football. You know, we won't always be able to play pretty football. We've got a great deal wrong with that first half. I thought, first 20 minutes, we got a little bit over on because we probably underestimated what they were going to be like. And they were very, very energetic. But all three of us on the <coughs> sideline said they will not keep that tempo up. They just physically couldn't keep it up. If we're going to be brutally honest, the game should be two all. You know, they've had two fucking glorious shots, both right in front of the goal, and we've had two very good shots. Don't have to be fucking pretty footballers anymore. If you're in the fucking box and the runs clips you, take the ref out of decision. Ref doing his last minute counts and checks before we get this second half underway. And it's a green light from the ref, and off we go. Are Urchester going to continue as they did last season, or if they had a rocket up their arse? And the brown envelopes. Nice little ball played in from number four to number nine, but the spicy Italian is off his line to claim that. Being still playing out into sexual chocolate. Sexual chocolate playing into the Greek god of vision. He plays into Tugboat. He plays into Bazza. Can he see Raptor? There's a massive gap and he sees Raptor. Oh, here we go. This is sexy football. Raptor plays it into Professor Green. But the defender has somehow nicked that away. That would have been a fantastic goal. Counter-attack to double our leads. Ball to be played in by Urchester. This is 
cleared by Professor Green, only to pop a number four as a shot. The spicy Italian parries, but gets hold of the second chance. Number five looking to play a long ball into the path of number eight, who has tugboat with Professor Green around him, but the ball sticks to him like a magnet. Or pretty much how a donut sticks to my hand. He plays it out wide. There's options in the box for Urchester. Ball's whipped in, it's delivered. It's all the way to the back post where number 11 was unmarked, but he couldn't get nowhere near it. Another let off for us. Free kick on the halfway line, to be taken by Raptor. Played it in, to Longest in the Shower, who flips it onto Sexual Chocolate. Who will lay that back into Longest in the Shower, who has the defender's clearance. You can definitely tell we don't play up front. That's just with a big boot up to the top. Longest in the Shower will clear into the path of Baz. But again, it's bouncing around a potato and Onions has got a one-on-one -on -one race. Spicy Italians come off his line and number seven has seen it and the ball is, he's hit a post. Let's have a let off. Something simple like that with the ball just straight over the top. We misjudged the flight of the ball. Was there no communication? It's gone a little bit flat at this half, but it's a goal kick to Langford as the Spicy Italian will play it into Beanstalk. He has the Greek God of Vision to the right of him. He's looking to play it up front. He's gone over the top of Baz. Into Sexual Chocolate who's flicked it on, but no one there. Number five will play that back into the keepers. Nice and safe, he has got options. Number three, saying I have a bit of that as he's now got the space. Little dink into him and he's got far too much space with no pressure. He's carrying it. He's carrying it too far. Into 20 yards, we place into number four. Number seven's creeping in behind the Greek God of Vision. He's not only gonna play it in. And number seven has made it 1-1. No pressure whatsoever on Urchester. Just standing off, watching them play, watching them carry it. Absolutely shocking. Deserved that goal because we just did not. We went, here you go, have a goal, why not? I see Italian will play it into Longest in the shower. He plays it into Baz. He's got no players around him, but it's a heavy touch. And number seven has closed him down. He looks like he fancies this from 30 yards. And the spicy Italian has been pulled into a save. That will go for a corner. Free kick to be played in by Raptor. It's a bit straight. Goalkeeper punches this one. No one around him could have caught it. Beanstalk looking to bring that down. Play it back into Raptor. Plays it back in to Beanstalk. Oh, look at that. It's just like watching Maradona. Into Professor Green, but it goes over for a goal kick. Naughty stuff. Urch uh, having the better of the second half at the moment. Keeping the ball nice and tight at the moment as the ball's lifted into number 11, who is again unmarked. Just goes wide. A mix up between Beanstalk and Longest in the Shower of whose man that was. No, it's yours! No, it's yours! Spicy Italian to Longest in the Shower. We'll play this into Onions. Looking for his options. That's into Jake the Snake. Back into Onions. Lifting it over to Sexual Chocolate. It's a nice ball. He's got the beating of his man. He's fixed it up. Oh, hang on. Is this Gaza 96 at yours? He's coming home! Ah, oh, he's just hit it wide. Oh my god, I had visions of a 10 year old again with that goal with a dentist chair. Get that water bowl, spray it all in his face. <laughs> Throw in by number three for Urchester into the big number eight. He's looking for his options as he goes past Tugboat, plays it in, and number 11 has an air shot. Number 11 is trying his best not to take home his wages today and not score, I tell you. Unbelievable, the amount of misses he's had. Stevie Wonder could have finished half of them. We're into the last few minutes of the game. Are both sides going to see out for a draw? As Fittis misses at the club, intercepts number 10. He cuts in, plays it into Professor Green, who drops the shoulder and takes on three to play it out to Jake the Snake. Looking to play the ball in. Oh, he's done everyone. He's played it into Baz, who looks to lift it to Alfie. He's only got to beat the keeper when he's hit it over the... Oh, and that would have been it. That would have been us taking all three points. We are now into the last minute of the game as the ball is literally bouncing around. Urchester trying to find a winner. Ball bounces nicely for them as Baz tries to control it. As number 16 looks to cut the shoulder, play it in, play it back to number four. It's a little one two, no one's marking him. He's got a free run, he's had a shot, and the spicy Italian's been beating at his near post, and we've gone and fucking lost this game in the last minute after leading. The amount of chances that both teams have had, but ultimately, we've given up. And that is it, the referee has called full time on the opening day of the season, and it will go down as a defeat after a 2-1 loss to Urchester United. We have to get into our fucking psyche right here, right now. Because if we are not playing well, if we don't have the strength and depth throughout the whole 16, we do not fucking lose games if we've gone ahead. The minimum you can walk away with is a draw. We've done exactly 
exactly what we did last fucking year. You know what surprised me? They looked fitter than us. How the fuck is that even possible? Oh yeah, I'll tell you. Because half of our fucking lot don't turn up to training. To lose that game in the last fucking three minutes is criminal. Whether we deserve to walk away with a point or not, that's where we have to fucking get our game management on, get our angry side on, and make sure we're not losing a fucking game and walk away. And then what do we do? We say, you know what, we've stolen the fucking point on the road. As it is, we've walked away empty handed. And we fucking deserve to walk away empty handed because we weren't good enough. We did not play football second half. We're starting on the back foot now, aren't we? They're a good side, I'm not going to take away from them. Quite organised, quite functional, got some reasonable players. And so we made it easy for them. First off, pretty hard, unchallenged. Can't carry passengers at any level of football. I know it's fucking disappointing. None of you are more fucking disappointed than me, trust me. But there's nothing we can do about it now. We train on Monday, we train on Thursday, and on Saturday, get three points. Big odds. First game of the season, unfortunately, it ends in a 2 1 defeat against Urchester. Not the way that we would like to start off this campaign. But how do you think your performance was? How do you think the lads performed? It was a new look at Chester side. It's totally different from what they played last year. And to be fair to them, they probably deserved the win over the 90 minutes. I thought first half quite fair, the more of the ball, but probably had equal chances. Second half, I think they, they pressed us a bit more. They were a bit more hungry and then sort of panicked. And maybe our squad depth probably let us down a little bit today. And some of the like, players in different positions was a bit of a step too far. I think the lads looked a bit unfit. Surprising, because they've had about eight pre-season games. But after about 65 minutes, I think they come into their own. And Next game is another tough Northern away game against Rawls, a team that we do have quite luck and success against. Do you think that's going to be another tough outfit, or do you think we'll be all right to handle that? Early season, I think anyone can beat anyone, because everyone's hungry. First five or six games, everyone's up for it. Everyone's fighting for a place. But once that all settles down, I think sort of teams then start to show where they're going to be in the league. But they'll, it'll be tough. They'll, they'll still want to win. They'll want to get one back over on us. Last game of the season, I think we absolutely demolished them. We've got a week to prepare and uh, probably do a lot more than we did today. First game of the season ends in a loss. 2-1 victory to Urchester, who did deserve it. Much changed team compared to last season. No knee-jerk reaction. First game, Dan. Loads more to go. And it all starts again this Saturday. Away to wrongs. Just got to pull it right. You know what to do. Salah.